uh, up at Sugarloaf in the mountains for the marathon that they have each year. So it's uh, about 10 to 10 now, 10 o'clock start. Uh, just walking down the hill with the boat. Um, so this week, I, after that sail on Monday night at Listerfield, I took off the Mesita main foil and uh, swapped it over to the old Mac 2.3 high lift off the old boat. Uh, so you can see some footage of that now. Yeah, moment of truth, will the Mac 2.3 high lift on this vertical fit to make my life easy? Or is it going to be really hard? So first, suppose the first step is getting the Mesita foil off the vertical that fits in the boat. So if that doesn't come off, there's no point doing the other one. Right, so had to, uh, had a bit of a struggle getting the push rod out of the uh, old big foil so I was just able to heat it up slightly and then uh, not very hot just with a barbecue lighter but uh, that was enough to not light the foils on fire uh, then it just came undone nice and easy so yeah now I'll tap this one off and put it on the other vertical and yeah put it all back together So this is the uh, 2.3 angle of attack gauge. Um, I got this from um, Mac 2 when I first got that foil. Uh, I bought that off a friend uh, second hand and then like I said I got this vertical broken and then uh, repaired it up the top and that's why it doesn't fit in the boat because uh, it's too thick like I suspected. So now I want to check the angle of attack of that horizontal on this boat and check that it's uh, sort of in the correct spot relative to the bottom of the boat. So. I bought the uh, second cheapest angle meter off uh, Amazon. The cheapest one had terrible uh, reviews, so I thought I'll get the second cheapest one and uh, splurge a little bit for another $7. So I think this is $29 all up. 
I don't know if it's got batteries in it. It does not, so we need to go find batteries. I reckon the same screwdriver that undoes the fork in the top of the foil for the push rod will also do the battery pack on this. It does come with batteries. Always look at the box when you get stuff before you go and find batteries. Ugh. Okay, so there we have 0.8 degrees. I'm chasing about 1.8. So uh, I'm gonna just uh, pull the foil off again and um, yeah, put some shims in it made out of something and then put it back together again. Third time lucky, I'm a lot more confident this time. Actually looks right. Okay, fourth time lucky. This time I put a Hobie 16 mass based Teflon in the back as well. I really hope this one's right. Oh, yes. There we go, much happier with that. That's uh, between sort of 1.87 and 2, 2.2, 2.3 degrees angle of attack. Um, yeah, not sure what I had before, but I'm sure it wasn't that much. So yeah, hopefully that'll uh, help the thing actually get out of the water and uh, have a much better time. Forecast for Saturday is looking sort of light, so I'm gonna need all the lift I can get. But uh, yeah, I don't even know what time it is. It must be pretty late, 10.38 at night, almost 11, so. Better pack up and uh, yeah, go to bed. And uh, the cool thing about Sugarloaf is there's heaps of really weird boats up here, like that you never see. Like there's a Hobie getaway, but look, parked next to that is this. Like what a beast! You never see those. Don't think it's gone anywhere for a while because the jockey wheel's buried. But geez, that'd be cool to get my hands on at some point. Could do a lot with that. So yeah, I'll uh. Turn the camera off, try and save battery. Uh, it's two full laps of the lake, so normally they do kind of half laps, but uh, this time we're going all the way over to the other side of the lake, past the solar farm, and uh, yeah, around twice for the morning race, and the same thing this afternoon. Uh, historically, this race used to go for like six hours uh, with a 45 minute break in the middle, but this year they mixed it up into two separate races. This morning's looking pretty light, but uh, yeah, it's forecast to kind of pump in from the east down on the bay, which looks like it's then going to send kind of a southwesterly up here into the valley. So, uh, yeah, let's get out there and see what it's like. I'll try not to video too much if I'm not foiling, uh, so I've got battery for later. So we're currently about halfway up the first beat. Been going for just under half an hour. Very light. 
I'm currently in the gust of the day doing 2.2 knots and the next mark is that orange flag way up near the contender there so this hill's like the opposite the one opposite the club with the solar panel uh, farm on the other side so I'll uh, turn the camera off and come back when uh, something interesting happens so I decided I'll uh, retire from this one and make my way back to the club because it's now been 50 minutes and I'm basically still where I was 20 minutes ago so I'm just gonna try and go through this gap uh, there's a bit of tree sticking out of the water there which is really hard to see and there's trees here and right next to me so I'm hoping that I'm not going to run into the top of the forest uh, from before all this was flooded I'll just uh, try and squeeze through it and hope it goes well Look at that, Taipan number two. Wow. It's got an old I-beam traveler, not the Series 7000 they normally have. What a find. Yeah. Here we go, this is the coolest one. Look at the diameter of the beams. Ah, oh, so to pull the rudder up, you just move the whole transom. That's genius. Wow. That is so cool. Back up here for another look at this. Look at the flap on the foil. And plated. My 2.3 high lift had these, but they got chopped off at some point. Look at the strength of that case. So uh, unfortunately we waited around for about three hours um, for the breeze to come but it still hasn't filled in like it was supposed to. Um, very strange weather like Wilson's Prom's got a solid sort of 35 to 40 knots uh, that's a fair way from here but um, like Geelong's got 19 at the bay it's starting to swing around but it might just be a few hours till it gets up here into the mountains so uh, they've cancelled sailing for the day so I'm going to de-rig and uh, get home and probably start editing this. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, hopefully next time I'll be back and get to do some foiling because uh, I don't like having two videos in a row with no foiling. <laughs>